Greetings fellow captains, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played in the Massachusetts. This is a tier 7 American premium battleship. I just recently used my free XP to get it over the holidays, and I wanted to show a fun game that I had showing off its AA potential. Overall my damage wasn't that high, but it's fun to see the secondaries and AA guns do their work. I know some players are still trying to finish off their Minotaur campaign. That means clearing a lot of planes out of the sky. If you're lucky that you're in a ship with good AA and you've got a carrier that's obsessed with killing you, then you can kill a lot of planes pretty fast. At the moment, I have my ship mostly outfitted for a secondary build. I'm not really set on anything yet and I'm just having some fun with it at the moment. I'll be getting the Bismarck soon, so my secondary experiments will probably shift over to that. I actually only have one skill right now that's set to AA, and none of my upgrades are set for it either, so this isn't even close to the maximum AA potential. For the most part, I don't see too many aircraft carriers in the game. It's just sporadic, so I haven't found it worthwhile to outfit anything with Super AA. I almost want more carriers in the game just to watch them suffer at the hands of my Massachusetts. Watching all those planes crash and burn is a beautiful thing. I'm in a division with Mixie 360 who is using an aircraft carrier. This was his first battle with the Tier 7, and that set me up for a guaranteed action-packed AA game. This is a end of the night game where everything seems like a good idea, so of course I'm looking to get in close and see what my secondaries can do. This is getting chaotic pretty quickly, the carrier just got 5 torpedo hits on me, and these hilarious little secondaries are mortaring over islands and through smoke screens. This is something pretty funny that I didn't notice at the time, but my team got two first bloods. Our King George and Baltimore destroying ships at the same time. I don't ever remember seeing two first bloods in a game. I got a good hit there, but it wasn't enough. Fortunately, he didn't launch his torpedoes at me. I was holding off on using my damage control just in case, and thankfully my destroyer teammate was able to finish him off. Only three and a half minutes in, and we already got a clear skies medal. That is pretty hilarious. I still want to be decently aggressive here, so even though I've taken a lot of damage, I'm going to keep pushing forward. I wasn't focusing too much on the Atlanta since I didn't think he was going to be a target for very long. My main worry was that Fiji that's advancing off to my right. I believe in the power of secondaries, so I'm gonna leave them to finish off the Atlanta. Time to focus on not dying by torpedoes. Enemy cruiser foundered.
Hey, look, I actually dodged one. Hull breach. We're taking on water quickly. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes, direct front. It would have been pretty epic if that had been a kill shot through the island. If only I had shot just a little earlier, I think I would have got a much better angle. The ship is on fire! Solved, sir. Enemy cruiser sunk. Our team has taken the lead. I hadn't realized during the engagement, but my team has pretty much won the game here. I might have been a little more carefree and aggressive if I had to realize that, but I was still playing to keep alive and finish the battle. Only one torpedo. I think this carrier might be running out of planes. If my team was well coordinated, we could have not destroyed the carrier and just made an AA blockade 10 kilometers out, making him suffer for the remaining 5 minutes of the game. I was hoping to get some revenge on this carrier for all that hassle he gave me, but my Baltimore teammate managed to finish him off. I'm okay with that because you'll see in the post-game stats that he had a great battle. I have no idea what he did on the other side of the map, but I approve. The highlight of the game was getting those 51 planes destroyed. I wish they had have given me two Clear Skies medals for that. Other than that, 84,000 damage, not too big. A Dreadnought medal for being a punching bag for 10 minutes and close quarters expert for killing that Atlanta. No doubt the Atlanta would have killed us all without those heroic secondaries. I earned 2,907 base XP. I'm surprised the number is so big for a small damage game like that. So what do you think of that AAA? And let me know in the comments what's your go-to ship for a plane massacre. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Warships Legends videos.